Yeah, we like that. That's how, that's how the controller goes. <laughs> right, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, oh just a technical <laughs> attention for a couple of minutes um, so that we can get this down on his way, um, get the party started. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, no is, it, is, it is a Friday after all, and Alistair's already told me that most of you are usually cold in your bed. Um, or so I've been told. Um, it's, it's nice to control the room right now. And it's, uh, it's lovely to see this man as well. Uh, I've never seen somebody go from a state of relaxation and calm to one of sheer white terror. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay, relax, I've been told to be <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. Yeah, so a couple of weeks ago I had a caller to my office and um, she asked me to say a few words on the occasion of, of Alistair's retirement. Um, and I'm guessing the reason was, well, first of all, hopefully that I say something nice. Uh, and maybe, just maybe, I might throw in a witty comment or two. So on that basis, I, I completely apologise. Um, for your impending disappointment. Um, my thought point here today is to sum up almost 40 years of dedication to the NHS and people with learning disabilities in about two minutes. Uh, that's basically what's going to happen. Um, as you all know, Alistair started his career as a nursing assistant in quarantine in 1976, um, and most of us were still in school. Or Quite a few people are even born. <laughs> I've, and I personally have the privilege of knowing Alistair for the last 30 years or so um, when I was welcomed into the United Country um, as an economic migrant in 1987. Um, a huge dissension of, of Irish people to go for a hospital on the South Lothian College of Nursing and Midwifery. Um, and we all arrived in a blaze of glory. Um, we sang songs about homesickness, <laughs> we drank too much, we started emotionally charged fights, uh, and eventually returned to our home and to eat potatoes. <laughs> All of our work. So, I'm sorry for that. Uh, one of my first placements was at Tornabine House, where by this stage Alistair had, uh, had become charge nurse. Uh, a meteoric rise, I would say. Um, and having come from a background of institution of care on a grand scale, uh, I was immediately struck by the quality of staff, uh, the respect they had for the residents, and it was a bit of a culture shock, but a very, very pleasant one. And I was particularly impressed by the charge nurse at the time, always calm, always in control, and always willing to spend time with the lowly students. I was going to say lovely students, but that was before I noticed Elaine go in. <laughs> Although quiet, he had an air of management and calm confidence about him. Uh, he never lost his tool, although when I say never, I mean rarely. <laughs> one occasion, I remember, uh, where a particular gentleman went off to his day placement one day uh, wearing a spanking new calfskin leather jacket. Uh, that had been purchased by Alistair the previous day and went off and swapped it in Waverley Station for uh, a cup of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want a definition or a visual definition of the word seething? <laughs> <laughs> that was Alistair's face. <laughs> um, I knew, however, he was destined for great things within the health service. Uh, he was always going to be a manager. But little did I know that he'd blow it all and end up managing us lot. <laughs> instead. He took over from Pauline Kemp in the early 90s and has been our manager within the service since. We quickly became friends as well as colleagues during one of my many placements. I'm guessing that was probably because of the result of our passion for similar things in life. Obscure Americana bands, singers, football. It was in fact Alistair who took me to my first Scottish football match at Easter Road. <laughs> I became hooked on the displays of football being played as it should be. <laughs> <laughs> Up a slope. <laughs> on a cloud field. More back passes than you'd see in a game of rugby. And I've never forgiven him. <laughs> Over the past 30 years, I've found him to be a very helpful manager and supportive. Always been even handed and fair. Uh, it doesn't matter who you are within the department. Uh, he's always been willing to offer support and advice. He's ensured his staff carried out <coughs> their duties to the best of their ability by supporting them in their personal development, 
but the ultimate goal is improving the quality of life of the people who actually pay our wages. He's been a calming influence during times of change, a person to whom any member of staff could disclose personal or professional issues and receive support and confidence. Uh, I'm sure everyone in the room would agree with that. I personally feel pr privileged to have had Alistair as a mentor and friend and will continue to do so. Uh, I know now he's retiring his mixed feelings. On the one hand, he's worked hard all his adult life to improve the lot of some of the most vulnerable people in society and therefore deserves to ride off in the sunset and have a long, happy retirement. His legacy will be that he has certainly ensured that the people we care for have happier, healthier, longer and more fulfilled lives. On the other hand, I'm sure he'll miss the support and camaraderie of a group of staff who see him not only as a boss, but as a friend. He's a confident and colleague. I'm sure he will, all, he will always be welcomed back with open arms. I also know he has plans for his retirement. He's already told me that he's going to travel pretty much immediately. He's just bought a posh house in a posh area of town. It's <laughs> <laughs> the first of it you've heard, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and I'm sure Elaine and Mira have big plans for the amount of time and DIY that he's going to do in the house exactly to the specifications that you wish. Um, he'll also have his walking group, and I can see him join Bill, Danny, <laughs> I'm sure I speak for everyone here uh, also in saying that you've been a truly great servant to the NHS and to people with a learning disability in, in particular. You deserve all the good things in life. Enjoy. Uh, and just as I was about to ask Tracy to <laughs> I give you a wee Valentine card. Um, she ran out of the room. Thank you very much, folks. Are you taking the photograph?